Hi, my name is Mitchell Neldon. I'm the executive pastor at Pathway. And we've been talking about the Passover leading up to Easter. And we started all the way back the first week of the series. We were talking about the first ever Passover night when the Israelites were slaves in Egypt, walked through all the way up to the point where Jesus was observing the Passover meal a few days before the resurrection, the first ever Easter Sunday. And when Jesus sat down to observe that meal, he pointed out two elements of that meal that represented the sacrifice that he was about to make on the cross. And that was his body represented by the bread, the unleavened bread. His sinless life was represented in that unleavened bread. And he took the cup and, and the wine, and he said that this wine represents the blood that he's going to shed. See, Jesus went to the cross because we owe something to God. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes on purpose. We all fail. We all do things we know that we're not supposed to do. We all sin and we fall short of God's standard. But Jesus didn't do that. And Jesus took those elements of the Passover and said, and said that these represent my sacrifice that I'm gonna make on the cross. So Jesus went to the cross and died a sinner's death, even though he never sinned. And he was placed in the tomb. And when he was placed in the tomb, nobody expected what was gonna happen that first Easter Sunday. He came back to life. And through the cross, and through him coming back to life, after dying on the cross, he not only paid our sin debt and took the punishment that we deserve because of our sin, but he was also resurrected and beat death as well. And because of that, when we have faith in him, we can have a relationship with God. We can have a covenant with God, which is very, very similar to the covenant that the Israelites had that was represented in what happened that first Passover night in Egypt. And the only thing that it takes for you to have that relationship with God, to have that new covenant with God, is to believe in the story of the, cro the, the cross and the empty grave, to believe that Jesus died for you and he came back to life. If you believe that and believe that that's enough to pay for your sin debt, and you rest in that and you trust in that, the Bible says that we have a relationship with God that nobody can take away, that will last us, that will be given to us here in this earth or in this life and will last until our next one as well after we pass away. And that's a powerful message that we look to on Easter weekend, that we look to Jesus dying on, a, on the cross for what we've done, but was resurrected and beat death as well. I invite you to believe that if you've never have believed it. If you've had doubts, I invite you to examine that story, to study that story, and to believe in it, to trust in it. Believe in it that it is enough for you to have a relationship with God. If you have questions, we would love to have a conversation with you. We would love to try to answer your questions. You can go to pathwaybaptist.com slash connect. The staff will reach out to you if you reach out to us that way. And we would love to have the opportunity to talk to you about what Jesus has done for you. 